Hello everybody, it's Janelle and I'm going to do another entry for Barstow Mama's um, Drugstore Makeup Challenge. Um, this time I'm going to be doing a casual look. It's a look that I actually did today and wore to work and it's going to be neutral. Um, browns, a little bit of pink, a little bit of gold. So we're getting started here. What I'm doing is um, I'm going to be using a high metallic um, eyeshadow by Milani and in order for the colors to stay nice and bright what I'm doing is kind of prepping my lid with a mixing medium now this is actually a homemade mixing medium um, thanks to Encore Makeup for the recipe but what I did um, I went to Walmart and bought a bottle of glycerin for less than oh I think it was three bucks and the recipe for this homemade mixing medium is you mix one part glycerin with three parts of distilled water. You mix it together, you shake it each time you get ready to use it, and then basically what I did, I keep it stored. Let's see if you can see it a little bit. I keep it stored in an old um, contact lens case that I had, an extra one, but it's clear. I can't turn it over too much because it'll pour out, but it's clear. It looks like water, but it's actually a mixture of water and glycerin. And what this does, this just helps the metallic shadow go on a little better, smooth on a little better, keeps the uh, metallic from creasing. But I've got one flat makeup brush that I've reserved to use just in this mixing medium. But what I do, I tap a drop or two out into the lid of my contact lens case and then I dip my brush in, moisten the brush just a little bit and then I brush the solution all over my lid. Okay, We then let that dry and the first color I'm going to use is a Milani eyeshadow color. This is gold and bronze. This is going to be um, the base here, the base color for this look and I'm sorry I'm just trying to get this mixing medium to dry a little faster. Um, the brush was just slightly damp, but it takes a little bit of time for that mixing medium to kind of set up. Anyway, load my flat brush. This is a second flash flat brush that I have. I don't like to put a wet brush in my eyeshadow pot, but I load my brush, starting in the inner corner and keeping below the crease. I'm just going to pack this on my lid. And by packing, I mean just kind of using dabbing motions back and forth across the lid, not pulling on the lid, but just dabbing motions back and forth to get that color concentrated onto the lid. And again, this is from the inner corner to the outer corner, and we're keeping this below our crease line. Not so much concerned right now with blending the color in, just want to get it in place on the lid. We're going to clean our brush. And like I said, this is a casual look, so I'm not using a whole, whole lot of colors. We're using a second color by Milani called Exotic Berry, kind of a matte hot pinkish color, but again loading my brush, still the flat brush here. And now I'm going to run this from the inner corner in the crease back and forth. Don't apply too much pressure on the lid. We are sweeping this across, just about halfway across. Eventually we will blend this down into our base color. Can you see that? It's just gone about halfway across. inner corner, halfway across in the crease. Notice how vibrant that color is? That's because of the mixing medium. Blend that right in there. Okay. Clean our brush off again. Next color we use is Milani Enriched Chocolate this is going to go in the outer part of the crease 
I'm loading my crease brush here now and I'm going to start over here outer corner of the crease now you notice I'm not going all the way down to the corner here I'm keeping it at a slight angle and going across the crease to meet that exotic berry and right now I am definitely staying in that crease you notice I'm not coming above into the eyebrow area it's staying right in the crease and I'm just kind of stippling that in there. I'm going to bring it down just a tiny, tiny bit next to that bronze gold, I'm sorry, golden bronze that we first put on. Just a tiny, tiny dip onto the lid. Not very far down though, okay? See how it's placed? And you notice I still haven't blended any of my colors yet. We'll get to that in a minute. stipple it on okay we're not sweeping quick dabbing motions which is what a stipple is just stippling that right there under the brow bone into the crease okay now you can really see when I get up close that I haven't done any blending yet which is okay we're gonna do that in just a second here Now I'm going to take my blender brush, start working that color out. Start with a darker color first here in the corner. Again, stippling and kind of rolling in a semicircular motion, working that color in. And now that we're blending, I'm moving it up just a little bit onto the brow area. Now kind of stroking the pink over into the brown soften that contrast area a little bit and down onto the lid just a little bit again I'm using my blending brush working that up and go to the other eye here Excuse me just a minute. I need to pull my mirror a little closer to look. You all know I'm blind without my glasses. I know it's not a good thing to take your eyes off your audience, but sometimes you just got to do what you got to do. Whoops, wrong brush here. I'm going to go back and add a little more rich chocolate here to the corner area. Stipple on just a little more. Going up at a little angle, just bringing it just above that brow bone. Hey, I can sit my mirror back down now. Sorry about that, folks. I just have to pull it close sometimes to see. I'm as nearsighted as a bat. Blend that in a little bit more. And you can see now our eye is starting to take shape a little bit. Make sure you clean your brush off real good. And we're going to go back and blend that berry out just a little more. This is a soft, daytime, casual look. You've got color, but it's not in your face color. Gives interest to the eye, but it's still fairly subtle. Okay. Once that's done, our highlighter is going to be Milani, Desert Sun. Now, I happen to have a smudge brush here that I'm going to use to put my highlighter on with. You can also use a flat shadow brush. But again, we're going to stipple this underneath our brows, right on the brow bone. blend that in. Make sure you're blending it into what you've got there in the crease so there's not a harsh discernible line. And get the other eye here. And 
Now, I'm going to finish blending this. going to turn this off for a second, finish blending, um, add mascara and liner, and I'll be back and show you the finished results. Be back in a moment.